No, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Tony! Oh, you're back where you belong. Hey, we're both back. You and me, we did it, huh? You know it. We cleaned it up with the Ferrellis, the Sindacos we sent into the fucking sea. Now I got the Sicilians on the phone wanting peace. We all want peace. But my peace, not their fucking peace. I'm the big man now. No chump from the old country is gonna tell me what to do. I told them to go fuck themselves. You did? <laughs> Was that wise? Hey, I'm the boss now. Me. Now let's go see the mayor about getting my charges dropped. I can do it, so can you. Fix it, girl! Step on it, Tony. Tell if I'm you, right, the Sicilians will be going he? after the mayor. Well, we gotta get to him before they do. Shut up. Let me help you here. Why do people chew gum? It's simple. If the horse don't is look out good. Of the stable, it's time for some hay. And you, you need to ride that horse in the opposite direction and don't look back. I mean, Catherine, what, what are your long-term plans? Huh? Well, first I want to have more children. And I really want to retire in Vice City. <laughs> I don't mean how many hams you got in the oven or how much lard you put in the cheesecake. I'm talking about ending up in the big oven down below. About the fiery cheesecake of hell. Do you know who created Darwin? Well, it wasn't a monkey. Christmas is about more than the pedophile in the red suit and the midgets, though sometimes we do get confused with all the, these cartoon specials on the TV. Now look, life ain't a cartoon. And it sure as hell in a handbasket ain't no game. It's serious, and it's meant to be miserable. Catherine, got some work to do. All right, we'll be right back after this. Go on, girl. It's so 8 o'clock. Coming up next on Heartland Values with Nurse Bob. I would go three or four times a week. My friends thought I was really into water slides or theme parks. I'm so ashamed. Now, Chris, when you look at man playing golf, what are you thinking, boy? Sticking that ball in the green, huh? Huh? I mean, which bit do you God enjoy? damn it, they're here already. Burn him down, Tony. I'm gonna get the mayor. Lousy bastards have taken him already. something. It's a taste of history with Old Horsey, a genuine replica authentic work in Prohibition era domestic music fat of gin steel. Relive the humor, entrepreneurial spirit, and tradition of the glory days with a beverage that built a nation. Whether it's ruckus juice, alley bourbon, skull cracker, white lighting, or mama's medicine, no matter what you call it, the Old Horsey bathtub gin still never ceases to delight. With Old Horsey, alcohol is the solution in more ways than one. You can not only take the pain away of daily life, but also put it to all all kinds of other soluble uses. Cleaning cuts, removing paint, Molotov cocktails, bleaching hair, removing sight, cleaning the toilet, or use it as a fun addition to breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And your superb vintage is a handy substitute for petroling your car. And with the world about to collapse with Y2K, you can really never be too self-sufficient. Old Horsey, the genuine replica authentic work in prohibition era domestic usage bathtub gin still. Visit bathtubginsteel.com for more. There they are. Come on, Tony, this way. I'll drive. You keep us covered. Need your time, Cole. Where did those bastards come from?
This rock. You shoot one bastard and another one bites you on the ass. It figures. Give him up. The mayor is mine. This city is mine. Salvatore. Sicily never wanted Christos keep for the Chita. But when tribute to Driver, what could we do? It was nothing personal. Nothing personal? After what you put me through, I'm gonna tear your fucking heart out. Hey, Mr. Mayor, we just saved you from that bunch of crazed Sicilians. Yeah, thanks. And that means... Uh, the, uh, city is, uh, grateful to you? Ow! Try again. That you work for me, right? Oh, yeah, uh, that I work for you. Good. Now, don't call us, we'll call you. Get out of here, prick. Thank you, Mr. Leone. Tony, we did it. We run things now, you and me. We're a team, huh? Now, I just need you to do one small thing for me. I got some problems that I've been dealing with. <laughs> hey, Uncle. How you doing, huh? You look good. Ah. Salvatore. All we really wanted was clarity. Yes, Uncle, I appreciate that. So, 
we are at peace now. You and the old country. Of course, me and all my people. Good, very good. Sneaky little bastard. I wouldn't trust him a fucking inch. Every dog has his day. Yeah, but we did it. Yeah, we cleaned up. <laughs> you did good, Tony. You did real good. I always knew you was a good kid. You saved my ass a few times, and I appreciate that kind of loyalty. Thank you. A good worker? I like that. Respectful. So I got you that half million I promised you. Half? Oh, I thought you, uh, said a couple. <laughs> I said one million dollars. For what? You can put a price on friendship? The kind of friendship you and me have? Shame on you. Come here. You're a good kid. <laughs> but shame on you. Police! Police! And I had to flame them. I love flaming lamers.